Hello, welcome back again. This is Ronald Glover, and this time uh, we are going to look at Excel. Uh, we have looked at different sections of Excel. This time we want to look at uh, how we can be able to print Excel. Usually, Excel uh, worksheet is an area that is challenging to very many of us. So when it comes to printing, you may find that you can print from here, like a student name, unit one, maybe up to unit two quiz, and then you stop there. And then the other work will come on another page. You can have so many funny pages of Excel. Now we want to uh, see how we can print all this work and it appears the way it is appearing here, all the columns from here up to the last one. So what do we do? Uh, the first thing you would like to know how many pages are going to be there when you print Excel. That is easy on the um, tabs, you click the view tab, uh, you see where active one is normal view, then you go to page break preview. You click page break preview it will show you how many pages this is page one this is page six and this is page 11 that means when you scroll down you see each of those sections is a page if you attempt to just print it the way it is but now we want to print from here up to here to be to one page what you do just pick this blue line put a cursor and drag this line means click keep down the click and move now you can see the pages have reduced to five. This is page number one, this is page number five. But we also want all this work to be on one page. So pick this blue line and drag it until it reaches that end. Now you can see those two pages have disappeared. So there you have page one, then page two, and page three. But now what is on page three is going to be literal and uh, the other worksheets the other pages have got a lot of work so what we can do we can adjust now according to this these are 182 rows maybe we can divide it by three since we have three pages and then say let each page accommodate a maximum of maybe 60 60. so we go there to 60 then the next one 60 plus 60 will be 120 so we pick this blue line we drag it until when it reaches 120 yes uh, somewhere there yes uh -huh. now you can see uh, out of this work we are going to have three pages now we are done we know how many pages we're going to have though sometimes they may change now let's go to file then click file and then print now when you click print it gives you the different settings on the printed document the first setting the number of copies that you want out of this work then the file the type of printer this one says microsoft print to pdf but there are other printers for example these ones these are physical printers but from here this print to pdf xps document writer one note send it one note these are logical uh, printers when you print they give you soft copies not hard copies but these ones they are giving you hard copy file because you must be knowing the type of printer that you're using here you have this hp desk jet 2130 then uh, hp laser jet 1320 these are my printers these ones these others are office printers okay i know where they are but let's print using this one which is going to give us a soft copy so we can view then after we go to settings what do you want to print active sheets or print entire workbook or you print selection that is if you have selected or whatever you can say let's keep active then print pages uh, you may choose like here we have already seen we have three pages this is page one of three you can say i want to print from page number one up to page number one or up to page number three or print everything 
or you can say I want to print from page number two up to page number three. So this one just depends. But for us, what we want to print, we want to print everything from page number one to page number two. Then uh, collated. Collated means if you select this, for example, if you are going to print five copies and then you keep it collected, it will print all the pages, the first copy, then uh, it prints the second copy and the third copy. But now when you choose uncollated, when you say uncollated and you're going to print, for example, 10 copies of this document, which has got three pages, it will print page number one. 10 copies page number two 10 copies page number three 10 copies then when you after that you keep on sorting them that might be a bit tedious so it is better to print uh collected such that it prints once a full copy even if it has got 50 pages so you sort out from page number one to page number 50 you staple like that like that then orientation there is their portrait you can print portrait or landscape if you print landscape the the text will be running across horizontal like this and the paper will be like this so you can see here or usually we take uh, depending on the kind of work that you have and the number of columns if the columns are so many here these ones you would wish to put them on landscape such that everything will be seen and very clear then this is the type of paper uh, letter size tabloid whatever legal whatever whatever you pick whatever type of paper you want let us keep it to letter or a4 the normal paper that we use let's print a4 then the margins uh, the margin is, you may say, maybe normal. Or uh, if you don't want normal, you can say, I want wide. That is this side, you want a wide area. And then the content is in the middle. Even this side is wide. Or you want narrow. If it is narrow, you can see here the distance left from the end of the paper, even this way. Okay. Or if not narrow, maybe wide. When you say wide, you can see a wide distance is left for the margin. So a wide margin. So let's keep it in normal. Then uh, scaling, custom scaling. That is now, you maybe say no scaling. Fit sheet on one page. If you want entire worksheet to fit on one page, that can be possible. You can see how fun it will look. And then you can see page one of one. Because you have selected it to fit on one page. Or fit all custom on one page or fit all rows on one page so it depends but you can say uh, maybe um, uh, we don't want to fit on one page or you can say custom scaling that is when you want to set your own uh, scaling you click there and when you say fit to one stage, you can say adjust it to 23%. That is going to be very small. We can increase the percentage maybe to 50 and then you see how it will look like. Uh, when you go to 50, you can see you're going to have uh, six pages. Okay. Uh, you go back to page setup. Uh, maybe you adjust it to 40. Uh, if you are to use 40, you go back to three pages the same way we had it but then you can see we don't have lines our printed worker will not have lines so to get lines get, you still go to page setup then sheets and then you select grid lines these grid lines now your printed worker will have lines then maybe you say black and white draft row column but we don't want black and white this time then page order down then over you can leave that one then next we can go to pages pages that's where we have been then you can say fit to one pages wide and one pages tall uh, these settings you leave them then you go to margins the margins are the ones we have been talking about this one when you reduce you can see this one or you reduce here you can see the margin top bottom and the header then what is important here center on a page this printed work of ours we want it to be centered on page center on page horizontally 
and then center you can see here center vertically uh -huh. everything will be fitting in the page but in the center then um let's see our printed work will look like yeah now you can see our printed work the lines are there the printed lines are there and that is good excel has those columns and the rows and it must be very visible then next we go to page setup what what else you can get from page setup we would like to get the header and the footer for a document so you go to page setup then header and footer header and footer the first thing is here header you select that you can pick any of this which is already there okay you can pick any of that one but maybe this is not very good you may want to put a header of your choice that one now you put custom header huh? custom header gives you three sections left section center section and then the right section maybe the left section you can say this is a uh, maybe a global global z uh, print mm -hmm. print of what maybe we can say this is budget this is just your choice how do you want to call it then on the left section the right section you would like to put there you can put there some of these you can insert page number you can insert a uh, number of pages you can insert a date you can insert time you can insert file path that is the file name where is this file exactly located you can insert a file name you can insert a, a sheet name name of a sheet or you can insert even a picture or uh, let's insert a picture click picture uh, when you click picture if you are connected on the internet it takes you on the internet and then you can pick a picture of your choice or if not you can browse and then the browsing means getting a file which is on this computer this first one then let's go to Bing search maybe we want to put a picture of what uh, let me say it is a cow enter uh -huh. when you click enter yes it will give you different cows uh, I like this one uh, click insert yes to download and then convert the file uh, then click OK huh? that that one has refused let's go back to picture let's use the one from the computer click that and then let me pick one from one of my cameras uh, maybe I want to use this one I click that one then insert so already the picture will be there inserted then you can click OK so there will be a picture but when you look at this picture it is too big the whole of this one is a picture first click ok yes you can see this picture is too big it is even obstructing other things let's go back to page setup uh, then header and footer uh, custom header the picture itself then we can say uh, custom picture we can reduce the height of the picture possibly we can reduce slightly maybe we can reduce it to okay, let me just put let me reduce it to 12 and then the width maybe let the width be 10 aha uh -huh. height 66 percent i can maybe reduce it to 30 percent then click ok and then ok yes so our picture must be in position to reduce then if you want custom footer that is a text which will appear on every uh, bottom of the page uh, what do you want to put there um, maybe we want to put the page number then in the middle there we want to put time uh, maybe on the right section let's put maybe file name then click ok and then finally okay yes now you can see our picture is reduced and our printed document is going to be like that now let's print let's print you click print 
then to, when you because we don't have uh, a physical printer where this file is going to go this is a logical printer it gives us a soft copy so let's call this one printed work so we have printed worker there then you click save yes so it will save it is still saving and then finally it is done so um from there okay first leave this one alone we want we want to go on a desktop and then we get our printed work yes so there we are this is our printed work so our excel work is printed you can see the header appears on every page and even the footer it also appears at the bottom of every page if i can try to zoom and make it appear bigger yes uh-huh so this is basically how we print excel so uh thank you for listening um again you come back again for yet another thing but if you have not subscribed please subscribe like and share as much as you can and you can send a comment thank you